Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing the what's on my iPhone video. I recently upgraded from the iPhone 5C, 32 gig, yeah, it was 32 gig, to the brand new iPhone 6S in rose gold, 64 gigs, and this is what it looks like. So this is my brand new iPhone. I just got it a couple weeks ago, so I pre-ordered it, I believe, on September 12th. And I got it in the mail on the 25th. So I've had about a week or two to play around with it. So I'm just going to show you what's on my iPhone. All right. And the first thing you see at the top row is the calendar. Nothing special about that. Um, photos. Show you guys some of my favorite photos that I use for my Instagram right there. Um, Camera. So, okay, one of the new features that I really, really, really like about this phone is the new Force Touch. It kind of comes in handy. I mean, it's not necessarily necessary, but, you know, it's a cool thing to have. So, I'm just going to show you. So, I'm just going to press down on the camera and it opens up like a little tab or whatever you like to call that. And it has the option to take a selfie, record a video, record slow-mo, take a photo. So, we're just going to take a selfie. And this is me taking a selfie. All right, enough of that. Good, good. There's the weather, clock, maps, notes, where I like to store my notes, ideas, and all that good, good stuff. Um, reminders, don't really use that. So this app right here is just where I keep my stores. So the App Store, Apple Store, iTunes Store. I like to keep my stuff in like little folders. There's the little wallet thing. Oh, <laughs> so you can see like my Ulta Beauty and stuff like that. Oh, oops, y'all need to see my negative. <laughs> then, um, settings, music. Um, I just use my own music. I don't really use like the new Apple Music or anything like that. And now for the good stuff, this is the photography app. This is like probably the main one that I use for my photos. And out of pretty much all of these, the main one that I use is Facetune. So I'm just gonna open that up. Oh my God, y'all don't need to see that picture. We'll open a new photo <laughs> and I'll just show you guys what I do for my photos. So this is a photo that I took yesterday, like super, super late. So I'm just gonna like, you know, smooth out the skin a little bit, all that goodness. And, you know, and then smooth out like my neck all this good stuff i think i look super smooth and just before and after and that is facetune and i don't really use any of these other ones i heard they're like super good but i don't use it widegram i do use that i think let's see um favorites yeah so this is like for instagram if you want to put your photos that are in a square and a square um, Afterlight, I heard that's really good. Haven't really used it that much. Uh, Pick Grid, if you want to put like, you know, multiple photos in a collage. Pick Lab, not sure what that is. Haven't used it. I guess you can do collages, single photos and stuff like that. Um, let's see what else. This is like my other photography app. I'm probably going to delete Split Lens. If you want to do like two pictures like together, let's see, um, let's do, I don't even really know, uh, let's just do this one, no, oh this is so weird, okay, and then let's do, <laughs> let's do this one, do you know? Oh, so if you want to do like stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. This is the first time I use this here. <laughs> All right. So then like photo. So this is <laughs> so this is like a video thing that me and my friend Jessica did when we went to Urban Night in Chicago. So you can see how that is. And there's other apps in here that I really don't use. Those are photos. Here's like my finance. 
my Huntington, Amex, Discover, and then my Capital One, and then my PayPal, and then my Square card, you know, when people owe me money, you gotta put that Square card, you swipe their card, or Venmo, I haven't used that yet, but I heard it's a way for you to like transfer money to people without taking out a fee, and then Google Wallet, which I haven't set up yet, obviously. Here's like the news. So I think this is like a new app or whatever that they put on the iPhone 6S. Or I guess you can get news. Set that up later. There's contacts, which I don't really use that often, <laughs> believe it or not. I probably call like <laughs> maybe like three people tops. Here's my Instagram. Here's my Instagram page. You guys can look at that. Follow me on Instagram, sincerely Brittany with three Y's. And here's another feature with the force touch that I'm gonna show you guys. So if you hold down on the picture or video, it's gonna pop up instead of like having to click it and then unclick it, you just hold it down and it pops up. So I'm just gonna show you guys this video. And yeah, then unpop. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what else. So here's my rewards section. So this is the folder where I put basically all my rewards programs. So like CVS, Ebates, SPG, and uh, Fridays, etc. So when I go to a restaurant or something, I just have all the rewards apps together in one place. Here's my Gmail, school stuff in here, nothing. Exciting. My games app, I play literally zero of these games on here. These are games that other people downloaded on my phone so they can play. So here is the only game that I play on my phone, which is Plants vs. Zombies 2. That is that game on the top left corner. I would open it up, but the recording app stops recording or the recording feature or whatever stops recording when I try and open that up. So there's that. There's... um. Voice memos, which I barely use. FaceTime, don't use. Duolingo, I use to like, you know, get my Spanish up, you know. Took four years of Spanish and honestly, I cannot speak a lick. It's so bad. So here is like my health apps. So my Nike training app and then my yoga app that I use on occasion, seeing as how I don't work out like that often. So there's like the My Verizon app, Amazon, GroupMe, which I don't really use, travel. So like when I went to LA, I used Uber and Lyft like religiously. So all those are on the app on the second page. Shopping, so these are like, you know, shopping apps. Sephora, obviously, I mean, come on, it's like hands down, number one. Chromecast, you know, if I wanna like view stuff on my phone, on the TV, iMovie, Facebook, I haven't opened that in a while and it's super slow but yeah there's Facebook all that goodness um, play music don't use that clink not even sure what that is Periscope downloaded it <laughs> don't even know what to do with that office lens don't use that DTE insight I think I used that to see like how much energy I was consuming. Uh, Survey Mini, don't really use that. Uh, Find Friends, that's I think that's a new app that was like installed on the 6S. Haven't used it yet. Garage Fan, iTunes View, Keynote, don't use none of those. So Miles IQ, this app right here, which is so cool. But basically what this this app does is it like runs in the background of your phone. So basically when you're like doing like errands or running tasks, it will record the mileage. So if I'm running errands for like business or something like that, I can, you know, record it or log it into this app and it will tell me how much money that my drive or ride was worth. And I think at the end of the year, it puts it all in a spreadsheet so that you can turn it in for your taxes because you do get a deduction for like business runs and stuff that you've done. So that's pretty cool. Uh, open table, that is my app for sure. I like to eat. And basically what it does is it lets you get reservations for restaurants and it gives you points 
100 points for every reservation and once you get to 2000 points they give you 20 dollars which is cool qr scanner don't really use that kindle um oh i'm not signed in but you know to read books you know i read <laughs> google chrome loop not sure what that is amazon video my period tracker that's what that goodness looks like yep comes in handy lets me know when that time of the month is coming followers you know that lets you know when people unfollow you on instagram so you can unfollow them kind of petty but it is what it is so here's like my entertainment um i don't really use like tumblr or vine but i heavily use snapchat i mean i don't snap per se but i watch snaps on there so let's see it says i have no friends oh here we go so luster lux uh these are some of my friends on here we'll watch luster lux yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's that snapchat and then pinterest my ride or die man i could be on pinterest all day it's it's, it's bad but i'm not about to sign in and then the WhatsApp is I use to talk to some people. So the other apps I have on here are Slice and I use that and it lets me know when my packages are coming and it updates me on, you know, where my packages are basically. Groovebook is a cool app. So basically what you do is like add photos. Oh, someone calling me. No, don't call me. <laughs> So Groovebook, basically what you do is you add 40 photos and I think it gives you like, uh, I think it's late. With Groovebook, you add 40, I think, to 100 photos. And what they'll do is print it out in a book for you for only $2.99, which is cool. Here's like my extras apps. And those are just apps that I really don't use like Compass, Calculator, Health, Stocks, Apple Watch. Obviously, I don't got no Apple Watch. Uh, the Game Center, Podcast, Books videos playbooks tips uh find my iphone all that is in there and then the nikon app which i use with my nikon camera so when i take pictures i can just wirelessly transfer them from my camera to my phone this alias app i'm not sure what that is layout don't know what that is numbers haven't used it pages ways is a pretty cool app my friend amber recommended it to me so basically it will show you like it's like a GPS, so if I'm going from here to like the mall, and let's say the mall's 30 minutes away, it'll show me like the quickest way in current traffic how to get there. And then Ulta Beauty's on there. Not sure what these two apps are, but this is like the GRE app right here, Magoosh. Haven't used it yet. Plan on possibly taking the GRE because it is my last semester in college, so might need to take that so i can get into some grad schools then ticker ticket masters on here and then truth or dare so yeah that is everything that's on my iphone success rose gold 64 gig pretty um pretty entertaining so <laughs> not really but yeah so this screen right here i think this is new um basically it's like a i don't know if it's like a shortcut or what but it just gives you like your frequently contacted people your frequently used apps and then like it'll show you like nearby you know restaurants and stuff which is pretty cool and then like it'll show you the news which is nice nice and handy let's see anything else yeah but that's it so that's my iphone y'all super unexciting kind of dry but you know that's what it is thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you have any ideas for videos please let me know thanks for watching bye